I told you I'd beat you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner, though, huh? My safety harness. Ah! Oh, oh no! My rope came undone. What? It's slipping. No. Oh no! It came undone. No. I can't hold on. I'm slipping. Ah! No. Uh, I got you. Just hold on. No. Just hold on. I can't. I'm slipping. No. Why did you eat those funyuns for lunch? No! 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 I can't! I can't get down! I can't get down from here! Well, hello, all you guys and gals. You hep cats. <laughs> you rad young men and women. You hipsters without beards. Yeah. I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and this is the So and So Show. I have a question. Oh, well, fire away, my friend. Do you think I have grit? Grit? You mean like grits? Like the breakfast food? No, not like the. The delicacy of the American South? No, not like the delicacy. Hey there. Do you like eating things with no flavor that resembles a bowl of lumpy phlegm? Well then you're in for a treat! Nothing satisfies my appetite like a bowl of corn porridge ground up so fine it's like eating fluffy sand. Grits! Just pour yourself a bowl of finely ground maize. <laughs> Add some boiling hot water. <laughs> Stir! <laughs> You got yourself some bona fide grits. Grits! It's not just for street gutters anymore. Yum! Yum! I'm not talking about those kinds of grits. Oh. I'm talking about grit, that thing that makes you keep going when times are tough. You know, grit. Oh. <laughs> Do I have grit? No. No, no. No. But you know who does? Who? Trent Lassiter on the hit show, The Lassiter Files. Oh, yeah, I haven't watched that yet. Oh, oh, don't start. I can't stop binging it. Oh, are you going to watch it right now? No, no, I just want to show you. Every episode ends in a cliffhanger. Oh. Will Trent make it across the rope bridge in time? Find out next time on The Lassiter Files. <sighs> Spoiler alert, he crosses the rope bridge. Oh, thanks. Yeah, because he's got grit. I see. Yeah, Brandon, if you want grit, be like Trent Lassiter. It's oh. worked for me. Okay. I can pretty much do anything I want now. Wow. I know, I'm pretty incredible. <laughs> it's a long story. Say, I'm gonna go get some coffee. You want some? No, thanks. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. Will John make it to the coffee maker? Find out next on John Gets Coffee. What was that? I don't... Faced with uncertainty and bewilderment, will John even take another step? Find out on John Gets Coffee. I don't like this. I don't think I'm gonna hey, go hey, get... Hey, 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 hey. 
What happened to all that grit you were talking about? Well, now I'm terrified. Hey, that, that disembodied voice is only asking what will happen. I mean, do you know what will happen at any moment in your life? No. All right, then push through the uncertainty, my friend. I believe in you. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna take a step now. <laughs> I did it, I did it, I did it. <laughs> Will John make it to the coffee maker or face certain doom? Find out on John Gets Coffee. You can do it. <laughs> I did it! Oh, oh, now I can just pour myself a cup of coffee. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Can John take a sip of coffee without spilling it on himself? Find out on... Yeah, yeah, John gets coffee, we know. John, can you do it? I think so. I'm here for you, buddy. Here it goes. Will John be back in time for this week's Bible story? Find out on John Gets Coffee. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Ouch! Ouch! Hey, hey guys, um, listen, unfortunately something has come up and I can't be with you all today, but don't worry, everything's fine. And I don't wanna leave you all high and dry. So I asked my good friend Cameron and he's gonna take over for me today. All right, take it away, Cameron. Cameron. So what have you got for us today? Oh man, it's an incredible story about an incredible family. Well, I'm incredibly intrigued. Uh, Take it away. You can read today's story in the book of Exodus. The Hebrew people were in Egypt and they were growing in numbers. In fact, there were so many of them, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, got worried and placed every Hebrew in Egypt into slavery. And that's where today's story picks up. And to help tell it, I think it's time for a little Kidspective! Oh, yes, I love this. Mm. As we said before, Pharaoh was not happy. I am not happy. So he made a decree. I shall make a decree. Which said, I, Pharaoh, hereby decree that every Hebrew baby boy shall be... What? Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. I, Pharaoh, hereby decree that every Hebrew baby boy shall be thrown into the Nile River. <gasps> yeah, it's true. This was horrific news to the Hebrew people. But soon after this decree, a Hebrew couple gave birth to a son. Look, a beautiful baby boy. A son. Wow, a brother. We have to protect him. I don't care if Pharaoh says. It's not right. Go. So the young boy was raised in secret for three months, but the boy was growing and getting harder to hide. So the mother, desperate to save her only son, came up with a plan. Hey mom, what you doing? I'm making a basket to put your brother in. Why? I'm going to place him in the basket and leave him in the tall reeds near where the Pharaoh's daughter goes to bathe. How do you know they won't hurt him if they find him? I don't, but it's all I know to do. So the baby boy's mother and sister went down to the riverbank and placed the basket there. The boy's sister and mother hid in the tall grass nearby. Oh man, I don't think anybody's coming. Mom, mom, I think we should think of something else. Ugh, the 
Sarah's daughter makes me do every little thing just because I'm her servant. Attendant, go check what that thing is in the tall grass over there. I mean, I have allergies, lady. <gasps> baby! I found a baby! Hey, hey, I found a baby! When Pharaoh's daughter yeah. saw the baby boy, she felt sorry for him. And even though he was a Hebrew, she planned to raise him as her own. But then Miriam had a great idea. Excuse me, Pharaoh's daughter? Halt, who goes there? It's okay, it's just a little girl. What can I help you with? Actually, I think I can help you. Seems like you're having trouble with that Hebrew baby. Well, he's so adorable, but he smells for some reason. Probably needs a change. A change? What's that? Say, why don't I go find you a Hebrew woman to take care of the baby until he's a little bit older? Yes, that's an excellent idea. Go, find a suitable Hebrew woman to help raise this child. You're so cute. But so smelly. And guess what happened? Miriam went and got the baby's own mother to help raise him, which is amazing. Give it up for our kids Kidspective Kids. a crazy story. I mean, that baby's family, especially the sister, really just kept going, even though they didn't know how things would turn out. Right? Hey, do we know what happened to the baby? Well, his own mother raised him until he was older. After that, he went and lived in the palace as Pharaoh's daughter's son. And do you guys happen to know what name Pharaoh's daughter gave the boy? Uh, Jeff. Alan. Henry. Austin. Jeff. Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> she named him Moses. What? Right. The Moses who would go and lead the Hebrews out of Egypt and slavery. Isn't that cool? Man, I bet Moses' parents had no idea who their son would become. You're probably right. But it just goes to show being unsure about how something will turn out doesn't mean you shouldn't keep trying to find a way to do what you know is right. Plus, we have a savior in Jesus who knows how everything will turn out. If there's anyone we can follow when times are difficult or unsure, it's him. Great story, Cameron. Bye, man. You bet, fellas. Wow. So I think we've learned a very valuable lesson today. Oh, yeah? What's that? Well, will John be able to say what he's learned or will he freeze under the pressure? Find out on John Gets Coffee. And don't let the voiceover guy stress you out. Reveal the question. Oh. When have you helped solve a problem? That is a good question. Yeah. Um, maybe you've helped a friend figure out how to solve a literal math problem. Yeah, or maybe you've worked with others to point out what maybe needs to be done in your neighborhood or community. Yeah, whatever problem has come your way, you probably need a lot of grit to get through it. Yeah, so talk about it together. When have you helped solve a problem? That's all the time we have, so we'll see you next week. I'm John. I'm Brandon. And that was the So-and-So Show. Or was it? Mmm, sticks to your ribs. <laughs> Can John take a sip of coffee without spilling it on himself? <laughs> Come on, finish it. No! Ow! <laughs> <laughs>